this is the solution to the uh, problem number 10 in chapter 8 um, it is asking you to calculate the alias structure for this design um, so I have um, this is the data given and I just wrote the treatment combination it's not really necessary for this um, I kind of like to look at it but it's not really necessary to solve this problem so I'm gonna hide that I would like to keep the ID because it tells me how many experiments are run. So this is the exact copy of the data. Now, uh, if you want to correctly calculate or correctly write the alias structure, you need to know first the total number of factorial effects. So what I did is I would calculated the main effect. So basically, I choose five factor from one. So five C one is basically five and then uh, 5 choose 2 is um, 10 and 10 and 10 so on so this is 2 factor interaction 10 I have 3 uh, 10 3 factor interactions and then uh, 5 4 factor interaction and then 1 5 way interactions so the um, total number of factorial effects uh, is 31 um, however we only run 16 uh, experiment so that's kind of like a half fraction so we can maximum estimate 15 pieces of uh, information from here however the question is asking find the defining relation so and the LS structure now to find the defining relation we have to kind of eyeball on um, you know either a b c d typically on the higher order interactions and then try multiply them and see if they made uh, up to uh, identity or one so if we multiply this column i equals uh, say a b c d and then you multiply all of them it's very easy if you have access to excel and most people do this day. so this times uh, b times c times D if that results all positive that means that's an identity uh, so ABC is used in this design as a defining relation for a five factor though the best would be using the highest order which is ABCDE as the defining relation uh, but in this case these journal article they use this ABCD as a defining relation and that's okay let's see uh, what is the alias structure and how to write that so um, we can um, I have created this um, uh, factorial effect and then in the middle I put the um, I or identity or the defining relation and then in column C I put the alias I think this is kind of helpful let's see if um, this is I was thinking would be helpful so uh, for example a factorial effect a and then I have um, then I can simply separate a or I can multiply with a b c d and then see um, what's the alias so either you can separate it or multiply it. so if you multiply column a and column b that will yield a square which is an identity because minus a square is plus and plus a square also a plus so a square is an identity so that will be uh, b c d and then typically this is kind of put in the parenthesis so you don't really see um, kind of ignored that because we are interested to see what is alias with a what is alias with B things like that so if it's B we can then keep going like that and this one we can simply copy until we are done and then if you multiply B with I then you can go a C D you can think of other way kind of separating B from the identity same and then C that would be then uh, a b d and then d would be a b c and then we have e if you multiply e with this then a b c d e and then we got we have to do it for the um, second order uh, interaction or two-way interaction so two-way interaction a b is basically multiply a b with a b c d so a square b square gone it's gonna be c d and then a c that will results b d 
and then AD will resolve uh, CD and uh, sorry BC oops BC and then we have um, after a b a c a d we have a e in our water um, look at the other video where we created all factorial effects we follow a particular water to create factorial effects so we following that we'll have to a b a c a d and then a e if we multiply a e with this a square is gone so you will have b c d e and then um, we are done with A. Now we have to start with B, E. So if we do B, E, um, then B, 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 C is done. B, C, B, D is done. So I have left B, E. So B, E would be then just multiply B, E with that B square gone. So A, C, D, E. That's B, E. Now I have CE left. Um, CD is done here. So I have CE left. If I multiply with this CE, A, B, C square gone, D, E. And then I have DE left. If I multiply this with DE, then I get uh, A, uh, what is it? Uh, a B C E so that is the alias structure for so let me put an ID here so inside so I can kind of count how many of them are very quickly ID one two three I really don't know why Excel start with one typically in column one you have some kind of heading um, so here we have 12 here uh, and then we got um, 31 um, effects here uh, however only half of them can be uh, estimated so as long as we have 15 we should be good so I need 15 distinctive effects sorry I didn't uh, counted that because we can uh, estimate uh, 15 uh, different effects from this so we, we only calculated 12 now look at what we are missing so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we get 2 uh, 10 2-way interaction that's good and then we got 10 3-way interactions so here I got only 4 uh, three-way interactions I need to have that other six so the easiest way to do it uh, I got ABC ABD SED BCD so what I left is ABE and then multiply this same only three more so if I multiply with the identity ABE and the identity is gonna be a square gone B square gone so CDE and then I have in my order I have ACE and then I can multiply that so it's gonna be B D E and then B C E left so that would be A D E so that's total 15 distincting distinctive effect that we can estimate this line or this line whatever where you is gonna be same so when you are estimating A you basically estimating B C D uh, so they are kind of aliased with now we can check so you got six uh, three-way interaction and then here I have four three-way interaction so that's total ten I should have ten three-way interaction then I should have four five uh, five four-way interaction let's see if I have that so that's four-way one four-way interactions So I have here four um, uh, four-way interaction, and also the identity is another four-way interaction. So I got total five, and then one 
uh, five-way interaction so I got all 33 effects here factorial effects however only uh, 15 of them either this set or this set whatever way you can think I would like to more think like this so when you put um, this uh, factorial effects in any statistical software you only put maximum this 15 of these effects and then once you run the analysis then you can just delete the um, insignificant variables and rerun it with the significant variables so to start with this is what you should start to put the model uh, write the model in any statistical software so that's it about the solution to that 10 problem number 10 in chapter 8